Let's take a look at whether urea, that's CONH22, is polar or nonpolar. And note this is carbon and oxygen here. It's not cobalt. Carbon and oxygen, two separate atoms. So we have a structure here. This is our structure for urea. And we note that right here in the center, it's not written, but this is the carbon atom here in the center. So the difference in electronegativity between carbon and oxygen, let's take a look at that. Here's carbon 2.55 oxygen 3.44. So since we have a difference between these two greater than 0.5, we know that this bond right here, that's going to be a polar bond. And since we have the oxygen up here and then the carbons and the nitrogens here, we expect this will be a polar molecule. Let's take a look at that though. So here's our molecule of urea. In the center we have the carbon, the red, that's the oxygen, the blue nitrogen, whites are hydrogen. So if we look at the dipole, the net dipole for the whole molecule, that looks like this. So you can see the arrow goes up and through that oxygen, from the carbon up through the oxygen. So the polar end, we're going to have a little bit more negative side here on the oxygen. And then down here should be a little more positive. Oxygen is more electronegative than the carbon there. So we look at the surface. And you can see the red, that's more negative. The blue, that's going to be more positive. So we have a negative side and a positive side. Urea, the CONH22, it's a polar molecule. And you can really see that visualized here in this drawing where we have the red for the negative, the blue for the positive. Let's go back. So to recap, we have this fairly large difference in electronegativity between the carbon and the oxygen. That leads us to have a polar molecule for CO. NH22 urea. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.